Hello everyone, it is the day before the Delan show. We have a big pile of books that we're about to bring over to set up and we have our rack. So let me give you a look at what's going on. Big old pile here, we're gonna try to fit it all in the car with the rack. We'll probably have to make two trips. All right, so let's put these in first. All right, so I think we got about 25 short boxes in here. Officially in the car, got everything loaded up, really excited. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. Let's go ahead inside and see what it's looking like. Hi, how you doing? Morning. You guys good? You guys setting up? Oh yeah. Awesome. Your first big show that you're setting up know, at. Thank you so yeah, much. No, glad to have you guys here. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Ta-da. <laughs> we'll bring it right back. Well, take your time. Perfect size rack here to fit into our booth. Everything is just yeah, tied just together the... with these, and then I got my uh, bolts in wrench. All right, so all I got to do is you should be good to go. Coming along. Now we got to figure out where to put the slab boxes, the dollar boxes, and the pre-price boxes. Do we put the dollar books on the outside or dollar books on the inside? Use this whole table for dollar books. Okay. And then this whole table could be dollar books too. I think we got too many dollar books. And that's like all we brought today. I know, we didn't bring any of our actual stuff that to like set up, we just brought the dollar books, but it doesn't look like we're gonna have enough room to set up all of them. I'm trying to think from like a like a customer perspective, like would you go to the booth that only has like dollar books up front? Like this is the table that people like first see, and then that's gonna be the table where they're like, do I wanna go in that booth or do I not wanna go in the booth? Yeah, but I wanna bring them home. Might as well, you wanna, we wanna bring them home? I don't know, let's figure it out. Okay, so what we decided to do was put one of these tables up here, up against the rack, so we're gonna kinda cut off that bottom area, but that's not too bad because we can put them in the boxes if we need to. Definitely think it was a mistake not putting these in long boxes. I wasn't expecting these big sturdy tables. So we're gonna go back to the house. We're actually gonna bring everything with us. I wasn't super comfortable bringing a lot of the key issues and setting them up and like leaving them here overnight, but everybody else seems to be doing it. Let's fill up these long boxes, get it back in the car. We're gonna head back over there, finalize everything. Got all of our long boxes now with all of our pre-priced stuff. Should fit a little better on the table and give us some more room. We did bring two little short boxes of some pre-priced sets and then we have some empty boxes for those pre-priced books that we already have pretty much it yeah so we're gonna go back and we'll see you once we get back there Alrighty. now we got our, our cool banner up look at that perfect look at our cute little booth pre-priced stuff is all like five to twenty five dollar books some fifty dollar little books and the slabs are pretty much all like over $100 from like $100 to $300. Really excited with how the booth came out. A little bit of trial and error. I'm sure the next time we do it, it'll look even more different, but definitely excited for tomorrow. It should be a really great day. Right. See you tomorrow, yeah. okay? See you guys See you tomorrow. Bright, yep. early in the we'll morning. be here 6.30, so, bright and early. It is the day of the Delan show. It's around like 6.15 right now. So we're just gonna load up the car and head on over to finish setting up. See how everyone's booths are coming along. But we are so excited for our first show. Just have these four boxes of slabs that we're gonna bring today, so we just have to load these up in the car and then we'll be ready to go. And sadly, I have no idea where I put my fanny pack. <laughs> so Angela's gonna have to be in charge of holding the money in his jacket because I can't find the fanny pack and I've looked everywhere. So a little frustrated, but it's okay. We'll be all right. 30 something degrees. Really Us Floridians are gonna freeze to death. <laughs> we got the car full of slabs. This is definitely gonna be a fun day. Comment down below. Are you guys excited? I was not made for this weather. <laughs> Good thing they got heat in there. Let's take these. We should be able to fit like two or three. Oh, yeah, perfect. Look wow, look, look at that. that. Perfect. Awesome. It's way too cold. To yeah, it is. <laughs> I thought you were going to be here yesterday. I, I did. I came in today. Oh, you were oh did you? On. You were here later? I came in late, yeah. Oh, I nice. just finished pricing this morning. I mean, look at that. It's, I, couldn't, wow. I couldn't even look back. It was it's crazy. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Doing good. Here, so they are oh yeah, try to keep order. them in the alphabetical order. All kinds of stuff. I got my this one I got for three hundred, but if someone yeah, give me like sign books from a new collection. One hundred and fifty dollar offer. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got a lot of these books that are kind of hard to find too. The newsstand for two fifty. Nine point eight, one thirty five. Definitely going to be hoping some people make some deals with us too. That's what I like doing, you know? Yeah, we always like... It's like the half the fun of it. Deals. Some sign stuff. This is a great one too. We got everything. I got my little black stand over here. Yeah, I put some cool books so we'll on try there. To set that up and then the rest of the slabs are pretty much good to go. So we just got to set up the wall, take the lids off of everything and then... Good to go. Wait for everybody to show up. I'm yeah. pretty excited. You guys left a comment down below too and let me know what you think of this whole experience so far because it's definitely been a lot of work, but um, 
We'll see if it was worth it in a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. All right, you could fit two in there. Yeah, I like that. Angelo's gonna pick the 21 books to put up on the rack. I'm gonna start taking lids off. This is the hard part because you gotta put like the cool ones up. We only have 21 to choose from. I did put some cool stuff on that rack. Yeah, we put some cool A books up here, some ASM. Oh, this one will Avengers. go up. That one will go up, that's a good one. Oh. This is another great one. Hard book to get in a 9-8. Should we put this one on? This is a cool one. Yeah, I think that one's cool. I like that one. We don't have too much Batman. You got a couple of them here. Looking good. Captain America, Champions, ooh, Daredevil. 225 on this, but shooting like a $150 offer. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is all my X-Men. I don't even got room for the X-Men. My X-Men 49. Ooh, we might have room. We might have to make room for that one. Or the one, the 130. All right, we got some people digging already. Show hasn't opened yet. Going through the dollar books. Dollar books are seeming to be a hit. We got big stacks of them. One more. <laughs> That's always the hard part, right? Yeah, Trying yeah, to get that last yeah, book. Not not more. Like, more. I heard a lady with a convention once say they complain about being in order. She said, the red dollar. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to organize. Yeah, it takes forever to alphabetize. When you do it with the public, it's like, you can have it alphabetized, but by an hour, it'll all be helter-skelter. Well, she gave me to spin. Perfect. First purchase of the day, too. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like we got our stacks. 25 over here. Let's Just see what you got here. <laughs> How's the shop going? Everything good over at the shop? Yeah, follow you. Well, that'd be 32. Five each, perfect. Yeah, there you go, Thank guys. you so Thank much. You. you guys do a good job on your show, too. Oh, Thank you very much. Yeah. Got my uh, amazing Ooh, spider no, I love that Dr. Doom cover. Is that the pile you're buying? Yeah. <laughs> Time Bandits. I'll buy it every time I see it. Yeah. <laughs> so Lee actually is the first person to buy a pre price book. And, and you slab. also got a slab. Yeah. Now we got a hole. Now we got to fill our slab wall. Nine four right. for Spider Girl. Yeah. The three sixty one. It yeah. should be in the box, I think, yeah. to the left over there. They should be alphabetized. Yeah, it should be alphabetized. <laughs> Ready? All right. All right. You never turn it off. You're yeah. always, always getting content. Yeah. Always Willis. be getting content. You know How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm very lucky. I'm very much right enjoying now. my ten minutes in the sun. You work hard though, man. Yeah, you, you we see you on whatnot all the time too, yeah. killing it. So. It's work, man. Twenty five to four hundred sound good. Cheese fries, nachos, and cheese mozzarella. Okay. Today is definitely a success, and it's not even twelve o'clock yet. It's not even eleven. Dollar books. Yeah. Ho ho homicide. <laughs> Ghost Rider. Um. Wearcap. Great dollar pickup. Daredevil. Oh, the Warhammer. Love Warhammer. And uh, the Zero Snake point. Eyes. Snake Eyes. Really cool. Thank That's you guys. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks for coming Y'all have a good show. Yeah, that one down there is his first solo story, yeah, that, second right, appearance. That's what I was thinking. I was like, that had to be something. Else. And then that one right there is the 2016. That's cover A. Another stack of books. Shopping for a Sabrina book. That's it. Oh. Don't I've given up after four years. Uh, I've been very prideful, so uh, I just refuse to pay ten dollars to ship a book. And so, after four years, I'm like, you know what, Tony? Just buy it to the front. Nice door. pickup. Yeah. yeah, that right there. They have sodas. 150 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very guys. much. Hey, thank you. Oh, hey guys. Good to uh, see you again. See you guys. Yeah. Well, this is your guys' booth. It's yep. awesome. Thank you. Oh, you still? If you want, you, you can leave that here. You, yeah. You trust yeah. us with it. Yeah. Support us that way. You don't gotta hold it. Books. I'm trying to upgrade. Ooh, there you go. No, we actually just saw wrong. Yeah, we did. Yeah, Silver that's my big for today. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking to the yeah. gentleman up there, and I was taking a look at it, and it's about the same grade. Ooh, and I'm also go. trying to upgrade this one as well. Like, okay, let me try to get into like the variant game. Yeah. But once it started coming down, I was like, let me stick to what I know. And I yeah, mainly, you know, I mainly yeah. stick to like silver and bronze eights. Oh yeah, you can't go wrong with silver and bronze. That's for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna always come up in value. These, these came down significantly. Yeah. Those are cool though. You're gonna grab the kilowatt. Yep. Green Lantern 201 for 160. Take it off the wall for you. We got a hole again. Someone just bought the first kilowog, so we gotta put something All right, in there. Let me find one. I that's, had that one too. that's I think the most expensive book we brought with us. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. One of the most expensive. The Mamoko Marvel Rising one and a nine eight. Put that up there. There we go. Let's do it. Oh, I like that cover too. I've had this for probably I want to say over a year. Thanks, man. We'll see you guys again soon. We'll see you at MegaCon too for sure. Yeah, definitely. A couple more months. See you later. Take care, guys. Oh, hi guys. How you doing? Hi, I'm. Is, do you sell only singles? We have a few sets, but not like full runs. You looking for something specific? Batman Night Quest, the big one. No, I don't. Man. 
Look, I'll just give up on that. <laughs> You'll find it one of these days. The thrill of the hunt. That's what we're here for. Let's see if I'm selling stuff without stamps. Let's see. Looks pretty good. I'm almost positive I looked through that one. Oh. Right there. there is. I saw the Thor. See? Quality control over here. Is that 19 bucks? Say 15 Perfect. for the stack? Love. Thanks for what y'all do, man. Oh, thank like, you. Like, subscribe, and do whatever you need to. <laughs> Battle Chasers number seven. Oh, Slab. that's a great one. First appearance of, of Magic. Um, Lots of X-Men. Yeah. Guess a special request today. Looking for something specific? I'm just looking for a Red Hornet. Oh, I have one of those at home. Do you? I do. All right. Wait a sec. Oh. I might have that in there. Okay. Start flipping, dude. There you go. Enjoy. Let me know if you find it. Okay. In about 15 minutes, there's going to be a fire performance right out front of the amazing The Land Collectible Show. So come on out for some wonderful fire entertainment from the Lady Simmerine. Let's go outside and see this fire show. Here in front of the The Land Show, the lovely Lady Simmerine. Let's go back inside. I got a brother Voodoo. Seven O. That's a great book. Oh, the Conan. First Conan. Oh, there's some awesome ones. Black Hat. You looking to trade I all see, these? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, if, 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 if it's right, you know, if the deal's right. Oh, the, the Omega, Omega Man, Man 9.8. This one is already assigned to somebody. So uh, it's a new stand too. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I, I told you I had it. I told you, bud. And I'll tell you what, what do I have on there? No, I told him he could have it. Yeah, take it home for free. Wow. Wow, what are the odds of that, huh? It's not too often you have someone looking for this, so. I actually have a puzzle of him. That's why I wanted to get this cover. Well, I'm happy I had it for you. That's sick. Someone's checking out the Fantastic Four. I don't know. I just think it's Yeah, it is a pretty cool classic Dr. Doom cover. Yeah. Very cool. I would do this one. Yeah? Yeah. It is a great one. It's actually my earliest Fantastic Four, I think. Yeah. You gotta love Daredevil right on the front, too. Thank you. I love the videos, by the way. Thank you. He has over 60. How many? 68,000. You have 68,000 comics? You own a shop? What? No. You own, My house. It's in the house. <laughs> what do you collect? Just a little, with 60, with that many comics, it's got to be everything, right? Uh, I'm a Fantastic Four person. Okay. Number one, that's a... Uh, yeah, that'll never happen. You got to... You never well, know. With the amount of books you have, you yeah. can probably sell <laughs> a little bit of them and buy it. <laughs> I can't. I'm a hoarder. I traded for them. I almost bought that off of the wall. What do you trade me. for these? Uh, so, uh, 100, Spider-Man 100, and two uh, Hulk 340s. Hour left. One more hour left. And then we gotta pack everything up. That's gonna be fun. All right, Sarah won't let me buy anything, but I do have this book. It's a pretty expensive one, and someone has a Golden Age book I'm looking for. So let's see if maybe we can trade this. Get Robert for that one. Yeah, we gotta talk to Bobby for that one. Yeah, he's gone. So this is CBCS. Yeah, and it's not even close. No, me, sorry, man. Are you guys looking yeah. for anything in specific necessarily to trade for something like this, or something similar? Golden Age or some old Silver Age? Some good Silver Age, yeah. I got some Fantastic Four. Okay. Some old Silver Surfer stuff. How old? Um, do you want to come over my booth real quick? Take a oh, look, maybe? Yeah. Those are pretty cool. X-Men. Yeah, 129 would be a cool one. Colleen Wing. Yep, I got uh, That's a good one. Legion of Monsters. And then I got a few of these. This is the so four or five. Yeah. This is another good one. The nine six on the death yeah, bird. Death bird yeah. The last one, yes. Okay, yeah, and the spidey. The there that we mean? Yeah. Sorry. So it's like two point five, four, forty, five, forty, five, see that's probably nine. Eight. So that would be where I would start. So, so where are you with that? You would so you're saying all three of these? I would do that. 100%. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like I said, right. I'm done deal. <laughs> awesome. Is that easy? Yeah. Got the haunted cool. fear. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Who is that? Angelo got it. Some people might say it wasn't the best trade ever. We definitely got rid of a few keys, but this stuff is 
killer. Hard to replace. 1954, golden age. Nice Very little cool. addition to the collection. And I got what I wanted, didn't have to buy it. All right, Angelo and Mom are taking those to the car. We got all these packed up, got the lids. Just gotta put the stand away. Got all the slabs in the boxes. Still gotta take these off the wall and then put the lids on these ones. Then we are good to go. So much fun we met so many great people thank you guys to everybody that showed up and showed some support for us we appreciate you guys so we'll show you all what we made in total once we add it all up we just got to add all the cash up with all the card payments but we definitely did a good job considering what we thought we were going to make so yeah. we'll definitely be back and do another show yeah i think it was definitely over a thousand bucks yeah definitely over a thousand so we'll count it up and let you guys know the total mr tom <laughs> mr tom looking looking to pull up all the tape you put down <laughs> guys thank you so much for being here really appreciate it i really it. appreciate it we had you, a tom. really good crowd um over 900 people um i'm glad that you all did well yeah, we had a great and uh, time. as you walked around, you saw we had a lot of different stuff here. Um, so if you guys don't come next year, January 7th, 2024, you're missing out on a really good show. Okay, we just got back home, grabbed some dinner on the way home. So it's about like 6.30 right now. And Angela was unloading everything from the car and bringing it back into the den over here. So we're bringing all the dollar books, the pre-priced books and everything that didn't sell back into the house. And we're just gonna pile it all up over here so you guys can see what was left. And then we'll count up the money and tell you how much we made. Five, six, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking it was around six boxes of dollar books. And then we sold almost a full long box of pre-priced. And I think we sold about maybe eight slabs and then we traded the other three. A little big water cat. <laughs> we'll probably fast forward this part. For you guys. Yeah, right. So that's what we made on the square. Don't want to show my personal information, but we made 552.18. So that's what we had on the debit and credit cards. So we've been positing that and then let's count out the rest. Uh, this is all the cash we got. Let's count it up and see what we got for the day. Yeah, 443. So 443. So that makes two thousand almost three thousand dollars. With ring that right there yeah but make sure you like and subscribe for more videos coming up and maybe we'll see you at the next con all right everybody hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you next time bye